All right, welcome to another Merrimack College Athletics Alumni Spotlight. I'm here with uh, uh, Trev Berry Rogers, uh, a member of the Merrimack College uh, class of 2015 and, and former uh, member of the men's basketball program at Merrimack. And, and, and Trev, just uh, first off, you know, thank you for taking the time to do this. And, you know, we're, we're here today to, to, to really, you know, spread the word and, and, and to let you, you know, showcase, you know, some of the, the really cool things you're doing with the, with the warehouse down in Lynn. So, you know, just thank you uh, for the time for doing this and just sort of take me through, you know, sort of what was the inspiration, you know, for the warehouse and sort of some of the things you guys, uh, you do for the community in Lynn. Um, so the inspiration for the warehouse um, kind of started back once I graduated from Merrimack. I went back to my high school in English um, and I started coaching and I was coaching the JV basketball team um, as an assistant. And I was there for a couple of years. And, you know, throughout those two years in the beginning, I had a lot of players that were, you know, getting the call up to varsity, getting moved up to varsity. So it was kind of a thing that I was just building in my mind, you know, where it was kind of like, all right, where are these players coming from? You know, and in my head, I was like, well, they're coming from the warehouse, you know, because it's like a factory, you know, we're, we're, we're building our players up, you know, making sure that they're ready for the, the next step. And, you know, they're getting the call up to varsity. Um, so as time went on throughout the years, kind of stuck with that name. Um, and then a couple of years ago, my first year being the head coach of JV, we had an 18 and one record. Um, and that was like the first real official time that the name has made it on a shirt. You know, I, I got it on the back of their shirts for the banquet. Um, so then, you know, um, I was like, all right, I, I can really start to, to grow this and make this into something bigger, you know, than really what it is. Um, so I've always had the idea to just let it grow. I just didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it yet. Um, and then, you know, I had some unfortunate circumstances, you know, where my mother passed away in 2018. And then I was really like, okay, this is this is a time that I really got to take this idea and let it grow. You know, I can't hold on to it much longer because who knows what time is. So I really wanted to focus on, you know, just bringing a lifestyle to people of being able to push through, you know, when there's a lot of negative things in the world to always have a positive mindset. Um, and at first it just started out with, you know, working out players on my basketball team, you know, really focusing not just on the physical aspect and the skills, but their mental aspect, you know, being able to really, you know, carry, carry through workouts or, you know, to really just have that mindset to be tough. Um, and then we really started to build the warehouse even more um, in our second year this summer. And we started to really offer um, fitness classes, you know, personal workouts for people that they could do at home, uh, especially when COVID hit. Mm -hmm. um, it was really huge to, to try to keep our content going and, and really help a lot of people to just stay in a positive mindset while they were at home throughout those tough times. Um, and, you know, we, we just we offer so many different things between, you know, one on one basketball workouts, group workouts, um, you know, fitness classes, um, customized monthly plans for people that they can do at home and, and that are personally fit for their needs. Um, and, you know, we just we just plan to keep it going. I know sort of at the at the core of uh, of the work you do with the warehouse and, and the organization itself is you use those words lifestyle, you know, positivity and, you know, just trying to reinforce that in, in, in a daily routine. Um, was this the was this the type of work that in type of project that you're now involved in that you sort of always want to pursue and, and just personally like uh, what motivated you to really uh, put put pen to paper a couple of years ago and, and really get this off the ground? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think my calling was just, it's to, was to always help people, you know, was to always be able to spread a positive mindset. Um, you know, I just wasn't sure of how I wanted to do it, you know, but, but as time went on, I started to figure out how, how much fitness and just connection really helps with people. Mm -hmm. um, so I really sat down and was like, OK, let me figure out how I can really do this, you know, from a from a basketball standpoint, you know, being a basketball player my whole life. Um, I wanted to focus on that, you know, as, as the first piece, you know, being able to really help the, the next generation, you know, the younger athletes to, you know, not just see the game that, you know, you may watch highlights on Instagram or YouTube, but to really focus in on the key pieces of the game um, and build your mental. You know, because a lot of places you just go and you're just doing drills, but you're not really build, building your mentality, mm -hmm. which is something that I did develop being at Merrimack, you know, and being with, with Coach Hamill when I was on the team, mm -hmm. you know. So it was something that I really wanted to incorporate as I built the warehouse. And then, you know, being able to add the fitness component, 
you know, how beneficial that is to people, you know, just the smallest bit of a workout to help relieve stress, to help lift your spirits um, was something that I felt like I really wanted to do, you know, and it's something that I plan to just continue to do and, and let it really grow. What was, um, as, uh, what was the process like for you growing, uh, growing the community, growing the audience uh, in Lynn and, and sort of over the last couple of years? Just how have you seen that growth um, in the Lynn community to, to where it is now? Uh, it's, been, it's been unbelievable to see where we're at right now from, like I said, we, we started last summer um, and I was just working out players from the Lynn English team, um, basketball standpoint. We didn't even have the fitness component yet. Um, to now going into year two, we have players from all over, you know, girls and boys, you know, from multiple high schools out of the city. Um, so it's been amazing to see that growth and then to now add that fitness component um, to see the amount of people who are involved in it, you know, from all ages, you know, younger adults to, to older people, um, just to get them going on that and to get them to believe in themselves you know, to, for them to be like, okay, I can do this, you know, um, it's amazing to see the growth and it's just, it, it blows my mind sometimes to see where we're at, to see the, the variety of people that we have within the warehouse, you know, we, we call ourselves the warehouse family. Um, so it, it's, it's been great. I know for you, you know, this is a, you know, a, a very important part of, uh, of what you're doing. And I know, um, both uh, your girlfriend, a Merrimack grad, and, and your sister have, have, have both been very important in, in, in getting the warehouse going. Can you talk a little bit about the impact those two have made on, on the growth of it? Oh, they've been amazing. Um, yeah, my girlfriend, um, Cassie Amenta, um, we both played Merrimack basketball um, 2015, and then my sister, Sade Berry. Mm -hmm. um, they've been very important. You know, I call them, you know, my, my key pieces. You know, they're my managers. They're my brand ambassadors. They're everything. You know, they help me to double check to make sure something's right. They, they help me to not rush into things. You know, they keep me balanced. Um, you know, a lot of the groundwork comes from them. You know, I'm getting, asking them, hey, can you reach out to this person, that person? And we have, we have the ability to reach so many different crowds. You know, with my sister being a teacher, Cassie being a, a social worker and Lynn, you know, so we're, we're, we're able to reach so many different people. Um, and they, they're amazing, you know, they're amazing. You know, when we sit down and, and we have meetings, you know, sometimes we may disagree on things, um, but it's good because they, they help me to lead things in the right direction because they understand the future that we want to build for the warehouse. Can you, uh, for the audience, just uh, where, where in Lynn are, are you, are you holding workouts right now? And I, and I know some of this you adjusted on the fly, sort of with the pandemic and everything, mm -hmm. but, but sort of where and when are, are some, is some of your programming happening? Yeah, so this summer, you know, especially with the pandemic, um, we did a lot of things outdoors, you know, a lot of gyms were closed off. Um, and that was the biggest thing to try to get that going, you know, because, you know, I wanted to be able to get the kids outside, get them working out. Um, so our, our main court that we were at this summer was Flax Pond um, in Lynn, where we hosted a lot of workouts throughout the week, Monday through Friday, um, 9 a.m. to about 1 o'clock. We'd be out there for hours with different workout groups, um, private sessions, and things like that. Um, on Saturdays, we host our, our all-women's uh, workout class um, down at Gowdy Park, which is in Lynn. Um, and, and that's a, you know, a nice open area for, for people to come out, you know, bring their yoga mats, you know, be socially distanced and things of that nature um, and just get a solid hour of, of working, which is which is great on a Saturday morning. Well, for in terms of sort of your look to, you know, where you want to see the, the warehouse grow and, and sort of evolve and, and go from here as you look at sort of the future. Um, do you have sort of a mindset of next steps you want to take and, and sort of where do you see the, the, the warehouse growing to, you know, down the line? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the, the big time plan is to, to get our own facility, you know, get our, get our facility up and running, um, you know, where we can now bring all those components under one roof. You know, whether it's basketball, whether it's, you know, working out, we got lifting stations um, and we, we got a lot of hidden components, too, that's on the way. You know, we're not just going to be a one trick pony. We got we got a lot. And that's the beauty of the warehouse. You know, we you can't pinpoint one thing that we do because we're going to do multiple things. We do multiple things. Um, so the, the plan, you know, to future, like I said, is to, to get our warehouse up and running, um, get a facility that that's accessible for people, um, that I have such the, the ideas to make sure that it's well put together with the design, 
Um, and, you know, I, I plan to have the warehouse reach to, to multiple areas, you know, multiple cities, you know, multiple states. And, and hopefully one day we, we get across the country and we're, we're able to, you know, travel with it. Uh, that's um, that's amazing, Trev. And just lastly, for, for those that are watching this and, and maybe wondering, you know, how they can get involved, participate, is there um, any uh, uh, for, for anybody new that, that, that wants to wants to get involved with the warehouses there? Is there some places they can go, social media, et cetera, to get some more information? Yeah, we have our website up and running, um, thewarehousetbr.com, right? So it's just straight across thewarehousetbr.com. So we have that up and running. Um, we have our Facebook page, um, the warehouse .tbr. Um, We have our Instagram page. I want to say it's the underscore warehouse .tbr. Um, So we're, we're, we're pretty much, we're, we're trying to take over all social media. You know, we're, we're trying to have, you know, everybody's eye. We're trying to attract everyone, um, be able to reach out to everyone. Um, we got our email address. I want to say it's the warehouse .tbr at gmail.com. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of our information that that if anyone needs to reach us is on our website, um, which is up and running. Um, it's, it's it's nice, it's neat, it's clean, it's easy to you know to navigate. Um, and yeah, we're everywhere. Well, uh, Trev, once again, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to doing this again. Uh, the, the work you're doing uh, with the warehouse and the Lynn, Lynn community and surrounding communities is uh, is really great work, and, and we couldn't be prouder of you here at Merrimack. And uh, you know, thank you again, and, and good luck moving forward with everything. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.